for the Honourable Member for Guelph. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to rise in the House today to present a petition signed by numerous residents of Guelph. They know that 350 parts per million is the number that leading scientists say is the safe upper limit for carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Exceeding that limit will seriously endanger our food, water and ecosystem security. Mr. Speaker, my constituents implore all federal parties to engage and participate in proactive, constructive environmental solutions by passing the Climate Change Accountability Act to spur this government into action. This government said in the throne speech, nowhere is a commitment to principled policy backed by action needed more than in addressing climate change. The reality, of course, is that the Conservative Party has sabotaged global environmental progress through their obstructionist tactics at Copenhagen Climate Summit and completely failed to address this issue in Canada. Mr. Speaker, I present this petition on behalf of my constituents. I have a second and third petition as well, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also present a petition signed by my constituents of Guelph who are seeking federal action to strengthen animal transportation regulations. Animals that become injured or diseased during transport both suffer and threaten the quality, health and safety of Canadian food products. Canada's allowable animal transport times are among the longest in the industrialized world and are not consistent with scientific findings on animal welfare during transport. This petition calls on the Government of Canada to amend the animal transportation regulations under Canada's Health of Animals Act to be consistent with the findings of the EU Scientific Committee on Animal Health and Welfare. Mr. Speaker, in October I seconded Bill C-468 by the member of Brassard La Prairie to improve the lives of Canadian farm animals during long-distance transport and protect the health of Canadians. Mr. Speaker, my constituents believe that the current regulations are outdated and in need of revision, and I present this petition on their behalf. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I present a petition signed by my constituents in Guelph who wish the Government of Canada to support a uni universal declaration on animal welfare. There is a scientific consensus and public acknowledgement that animals can feel pain, and all efforts should be made to prevent animal cruelty and reduce animal suffering. Over one billion people around the world rely on animals for their livelihoods, and many others rely on animals for companionship. Mr. Speaker, I present this petition on behalf of my constituents in support of the Universal Declaration on Animal Welfare. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.